Hello and welcome to episode 141 of the Daily Sales Message where each and every single day I share a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. And the stuff that I talk about is designed to be pretty much instantaneously actionable, shouldn't really cost you anything to do whatsoever. And if you've listened to previous episodes of this, it's also not really rocket science. Either you know about it and you're not doing it, or you don't know about it, but it's quite straightforward. Now, in today's episode, I'm talking about pushing people, convincing them, cajoling them, persuading them, and the fact that I don't think you can do any of those things. I don't really think you can push and convince and cajole and persuade people to buy from you at all. I think it's a fool's errand. And I know this is true because when I buy something, when I am a buyer, if somebody tries to push me or convince me or cajole me and I can feel that eminent pressure from them, kind of turns me off and pushes me away so as a buyer i don't like that being done to me so as a seller i make sure i don't do that to other people and this is something for you to think about this is a great north star just for selling in general if you don't like something when it's done to you as a buyer then why on earth are you doing it when you're selling to people just catch yourself particularly with this one pushing people pressurizing them Removing the pressure from a selling situation is easily done. I do it with something which I call the pushback, and it's to remind somebody they're in control and to make sure they're actually in control. And I don't think by me telling you this, you're just going to not buy from me, it's going to scare you away. Actually, it's going to probably make you more attracted to buying from me anyway, ironically. But I generally say this, we'd love to work with you. We've got some ideas. But the decision is yours. You don't have to work with us. You've got to make the best decision for your company. But we would like to work with you. There we go. But by gently pushing the back, reminding them that they can choose the best solution for their situation, it helps to actively remove the pressure from the situation. They don't feel like they have to buy. We've reminded them they've got control. And that's where they need to be. And we know this works. I know this works because I use it all day, every day, and it works very well. But I also know this works, and you'll know this works too, because when you're buying something, the second that you feel pressurized, to feel like you don't have control of the situation, and somebody's trying to railroad you to do something you don't want to do, you don't like it, do you? It's going to make you less likely to buy, and that's the point. So the pushback, where we're just saying, We'd love to work with you. We'd love for you to buy from us, but you've got to make the best decision for yourself here. Just reminds the buyer and places them in that position of, oh, okay, yeah, let me just, let me think about this for a second. That's more comforting for them than, well, of course, if you don't buy from us, everybody's going to die and it's going to be awful, which some people do use as kind of crazy FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, FUD tactics. I don't think you can push, cajole, convince, persuade, or scare anybody into buying anything from you. So that's it for this episode 141 of the Daily Sales Message. In episode 142, hard work doesn't pay off. i got bad news for you. Hard work doesn't pay off. Not all the time anyway. And I've got something in particular I'm going to share with you tomorrow, which I use to really catapult my success and accelerate my success. And if you get it right in your business, you'll be able to do this too. I'm such a tease. I'll see you tomorrow for that one. If you haven't already connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. Send me a DM. Say hello. Thank you for watching this all the way to the end or listening to this all the way to the end. I appreciate each and every one of my listeners and viewers of the Daily Sales Message. I'll catch you tomorrow for another exciting edition.